Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is Cage848, and welcome back to Orbound. A lot of good tips in the comments section. We're going to get to those right now. Someone said go for Automation 3 as soon as possible. Okay, I think I can do that today. Uh, we should be going for Automation 3. Someone said shovel to flatten land. So that's awesome. I think, can you use that to fill in holes as well? I'm not, I'm not really sure. I, I've never even made the shovel before, but I probably should at some point and check it out. Uh, someone else said, my recommendation is to use stairs and small stone floors and spiral the stairs around the elevator. So let's talk about the elevator. I mentioned last episode, I don't love the elevator. A lot of people said, dig the dirt around the elevator all the way up. That way the enemies can't get to the elevator to attack it. Yeah, I guess theoretically that would work, but honestly, I don't really want to do that. And it's not even a laziness thing. I like the idea of the elevator going through the dirt. I think it's really, really neat. Uh, and if I, you know, dug all around it, I mean, I guess I can make a spiral. But then if you make a spiral staircase, you got to dig the dirt around that too. Because if you don't, they're going to attack the spiral staircase. Uh, you know, none of that really matters because I'm going to be honest. I think the elevator is not where it needs to be. I think it's extremely slow. Way, way too slow. So right now, uh, nobody's been attacking the elevator. It seems to be okay. But if they attack it, I don't think I really care. I don't. I think it's too slow to be useful, is what I'm trying to say. So, um, good tips all around. Uh, my concern is I do like to have dirt around it. I think it looks pretty cool. But if you made the elevator way, way faster and it was actually worth using, I would I would probably dig it out just because it would be useful. Right now, I don't know, man. I don't think it's that useful. I went ahead over here and I dug myself all the way up uh, through these staircases. And look at this. I could be on the surface in like two seconds. So, the elevator, while neat... Is just, I don't think it's worth it, man. I really don't. All right, so let's get into the number one tip of last episode. Last episode, I was uh, very upset because I couldn't use these foundations around like certain things, like these um these big ore nodes and everything. Just couldn't build on them, and it was you know it's just it was a little bit of a bummer. If you look on the bottom right hand side, there is something that says B allow overlap. If you press B, boom, all your problems are gone thank you thank you that's like the tip of the series so far man that was unbelievable tip thank you so freaking much so now as you can see here i can build right up to the ores check this out over here and that is awesome because one thing that people are telling me they're like your base is way too small i'm like yeah i know but these stupid ores are in the way but you know what now i can work uh, around them a little bit so what I'm going to do now, I did turn in one of these quests. Let me show you the quest I turned in without you guys. I turned in this one right here where I needed um, 200 iron ingots and 200 copper ingots. I got 1,750 gold. And then I took that gold and I bought the wood, the wood decoration pack. And the reason I bought the wood decoration pack is because I'm going to use that to open up some more, uh, some more of these, not open up, but finish some more of these quests. So let's see, what would that even be? It's gotta be under Dorvin construction. Yeah, right here. All right, so I have to make all of these to finish this quest, and then all of these to finish this quest. Once I've done that, I'll get the 2,500 gold back, and it's like it already it already pays for itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a couple of wood benches, and then we're just gonna make all of this stuff. I don't know how, how expensive it would be. Let's just take it, let's just take it one at a time. Uh, wood benches, wood benches. So I see this um, dwarven wooden door, but I don't see... Am I just going blind? Is it, is it somewhere else? Yeah, it's in here. Okay. So we need two of these. Okay. And then what else? Oh, by the way, I don't have to keep coming back to him. I can just press J. Uh, and I don't mean to be a moron, but I'm not going to remember to press J. I'm going to keep going back to him. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know right now. All right. I went ahead and turned those two in, got all my gold. I turned in bigger Haven and uh, decorations one. And now I have enough money to unlock, uh, automation three. Yes. Automation three. So let's go ahead and do that now. Um, Oh, okay. So I need iron plates and iron cogs. Okay. Iron plates. And I always keep the cogs on me. And there we go. Automation. Boom. All right, cool. Now, I don't know how any of this works. This is going to be all brand new to me. Obviously, everything in this game is brand new to me. This is going to be extra new. Uh, where are the drill? Oh, my goodness. Look at all this stuff. All right, so I can... Oh, copper plates, iron plates. All right, let's get some... Oh, should we, have a, should we get another one of these guys up? 
I mean, I kind of feel like I should. He makes him. He makes things pretty quick, though. You know what? I'll I'll leave it with just him for now. Uh, let's go ahead and get some copper plates being made. Someone told me in Discord that the best thing to sell at my at my area once I get to this is copper plates. Might be the best thing to sell in the game. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, where the heck are my? Are they on me? Oh yeah, they're all on me. I was like, where's all my copper? I kept it all on me. Okay, copper plates. You go ahead and make a bunch of those. He's pretty quick, so... Um, I do want to expand the, this place, so that's what we're going to be doing right now. Now, which way would like to expand... Oh, I know what I want to do. All right, here we go. This is what we're going to do. Take all of this down. Because we are going to expand out this way as well. We're going to expand in all directions. And we will be going... Oh, by the way, remember last episode I asked if I was... If I was if I should expand up or down. Um, most people said down, but a lot of people said both. Uh, so I will do both uh, eventually. But right now, I think we're just going to go down and we'll, you know, take it from there. Uh, go and foundations. Beautiful. Love it. All right. So how do we want to do this? I think I want a better pickaxe. People told me to use explosives too. Maybe we should um, get into explosives. I don't know. I think I want to pick X first, but um, I can't really decide. I'm indecisive. Oh, this is so great. And I guess I'll expand this way. I mean, there's no reason not to. I can always move stuff later. It's not that big of a deal. All right, now now we're getting now we're getting some stuff done. Um, I'm also gonna break down this wall here. Or this, like, all these foundations, actually. Let's just do that right now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to continue expanding that way um, with proper floors. You know, foundations, but not, like, wall foundations. They're actually going to be down here. Like so. Um, I can't really see down there now. Start, time to start mining. I I, I, I don't know. I kind of want explosives, but I want tools as well. Actually, well, no, I can I can do explosives now. Because now I can make powder. So let's just go ahead and dig out around here. All right, this is all looking nice. Is this... What, what's underneath here? Oh, crap. I just hit the freaking gold... The, not the gold thing, the, um, <laughs> I wish it was gold. Uh, the coal node. I gotta be careful not to hit that. It's very, very bad. All right, so, I think I, I do want a wall around this. Um, should we just go all the way around this thing? I think we are. Let's go all the way around this thing, build around it, and then we're gonna put up a wall. Okay. Um... All right, let's, let's see if we can make some explosives. All right, in order to make explosives, we are going to have to make a crusher. And uh, water, steam power, belts, drilling. I really want to put a drill, like one of these drills. All right, so I want to expand, and I want to use explosives to expand. But you know what? I'm getting too impatient. I want one of these dope-ass drills. So that's what we're going to be going for right now, even though technically I probably shouldn't. So we could we could take these down now. And put these down here. Because if anyone if anything comes in, this is where they're gonna be coming in from. Alright. I, I I assume they'll they'll turn around and shoot. Like I think they're on 360 degrees, but <laughs> I hope they are. Because <laughs> that's what I got them set up for. Alright. We're gonna take these and we're gonna set up iron plates next. Okay, everything's looking good. Oh, autosave. All right, so, um, what do we need here? Machines, there we go. Drill. Is that everything? Yep. So where should we put this big drill on? I kind of want to put it on the iron, if I'm going to be honest. Um, so can I make it, like, stand up or something? Or can it snap point? Yeah, I don't know how this is, I don't know how this is supposed to go. Um, reset rotation? No. 
Rotate. It's not rotating at all. Build snap points only. That didn't seem to do anything. Okay, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. Why did, does this thing have to go sideways? It can't go up and down? Okay. All right, this is what we'll do. We will take these apart. And then we'll try and put it on here. What is this thing? 16,000 to 20,000? Okay. And here we go. Yeah, I think because it comes out as a um, as a conveyor belt, I think you have to put it sideways, which I guess makes sense. Is it going to spit it all over the floor? or Oh, it takes steam. Of course, it takes steam. So we have to figure out how to do steam power. Um, I guess we're going to need a boiler. Copper pipe work. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So as soon as he's done with that, we will do copper pipe work. So I broke down and made two more of these guys. Honestly, these are pretty cheap and you do get the resources back. There's really not any reason not to make more of them. Unless you don't mind just waiting around the whole time. All right, so let's go ahead and make ourselves a boiler. And I'm not going to get too fancy with this setup right now. I don't know what those... Mm, so that's obviously one's an input and one's an output. I don't know which one is which. Um, I'm going to go with... I don't know. I'll set it up like this. We're just going to kind of go... Uh, we're not going to go crazy. Oh, boilers and boiling. I just got an achievement. We're not going to go crazy with this setup since I don't know exactly how it works. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are just going to kind of make it quick and dirty and figure it out. And then we'll make it better later on. All right. So uh, so we do need water for this. We're going to need a water pump. Does a water pump work anywhere? Or I'm assuming it does. Oh, so I think that might be the... Yeah, I think I did this backwards. Um... Well, we don't know for sure. But you see how that's blue? Um, for the for the water pump, how that's blue? I think that means it goes in the blue spot on this. So, um, boiler. And we're going to make the blue facing that way. Uh, that might have been the way I was facing it anyway. I don't remember that. I just wanted to make sure. All right, water pump. And I guess we'll just put this right here. Um, so it runs on coal. And plus 100. Okay. So let's go ahead. I guess we got to use water pipes for this. That would make sense. This obviously runs on coal as well. Plus 100 steam. It's active. Okay. And then I don't know if I'm doing any of this right. I think I am. And that's for a steam pipe. And there we go. And that will hold 100. So now I need a chest to hold that stuff for now. Um, belted storage. Belt container. Okay. Oh, goodness. All right. Yeah, that's um, kind of what I expected. And... <laughs> uh, can we just hook this right up to it? I guess you can't. Is that going to be okay? Yeah, it'll be okay. All right. So where are the belts? So the belts are right here. Uh, oh, okay. And there you go. It doesn't hold a ton, but hey, at least I don't have to go over there and take it out by hand. All right, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Six, five, four. Yep, it'll take it out, and that'll be empty. So the drill runs on um, 10 steam. So this thing is putting out 100 water. This is putting out 100 steam. So I guess you could run 10 of these. Uh, there are belt splitters and everything, so... Okay. Yeah, that does take up a lot of room, man. You guys were not kidding. I really wish I could put these drills, you know, um, uh, uh, vertically. But, I don't know. I guess that would be weird with the belts if you did that. So I have to tear down the entire base. There's just, there's no room for anything. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to live here. Like, I can't live here because of the nodes. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I can go, like, off to the side and live somewhere else. Maybe I can um, dig down and live there, but I can't live on this floor right now. Because, my goodness, these things take up a lot of room. All right, so let's go ahead and put down... The, we're going to drill there. Actually, we don't need to drill on both of these right now. So let's just leave that drill right there. We'll put a drill right here on the copper. Okay. And then we will put a drill on the iron. And we're going to have the iron drill facing this way. Now, I'm not going to I'm not gonna put a storage container. Because I can actually make a... Um, I forget what it's called. The smelter. I think it's called a smelter. Yeah, I can actually make a smelter. So I don't see the point of having the container holding the ore at the moment. It just takes up so much 
room. It's incredible. I gotta work on explosives, man. That's what I gotta do. Uh, but let's get this let's get this show on the road first. So now we can make the uh, smelter. All right, right behind it. And let's see. Yep, just like this. It does have an out. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That should be okay. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna set this up as like a factory area, and then I'm gonna like live downstairs or something. I don't know. Somewhere else. Somewhere else. Because this is this is freaking crazy. Uh, oh, what am I missing? Oh, iron plates. Mm, that's not good. That's not good. That means I need to make these guys again. Well, let's get the ones going that we already have set up. And we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, belts. The belts. And right in there. And then I already have this one set up over here. So now I need the steam uh, The steam power. Do I have enough for the steam power? Uh, well, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just going to put the steam power in the middle of the room, I guess. And just run it to everything. Seems to be the best solution. Uh, yeah, this should be pretty clear right here. Okay. So we're going to have this go right here. We'll have that right there. Then we'll have the water. The water pump. Right here. Okay. And then we will run the water into there. And then we will run the steam. Uh, oh, we're going to need a steam splitter. Yeah. Okay. Steam splitter. Oh, I need more ingots. That's okay. I moved all the storage over here. I really, like, had to tear pretty much everything down. Um, and I'm completely unorganized, but that's all right. We should be... We should be okay. We should be okay. All right. So here's the steam splitter. And I don't know if, where's a good spot for this. I guess this is as good a spot as any. All right. And then we will run this into the steam splitter. And uh, these are on the other side, aren't they? Mother effort. See, I don't know how this is going to work. Well, whatever. We could kind of test it out. See how this works. Yeah, it goes right through the machine. I got to be honest, I really don't like that. So let's see if we can kind of bring it up over here. And then bring it around here. It probably would work going through the machine, but that doesn't mean I want to do it. All right. Doesn't exactly look great, but... Oh, maybe we should put another steam splitter right here. Where does it go into this thing? Uh, oh, right there. Never mind. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this and put that right into there. Is that going to work? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, okay. Let's turn this on. Um, it needs steam. Oh, we got to turn all this on. Do I have any coal on me? I should. Yeah, we do. All right, so coal. Coal. And there we go. All right, so this isn't doing anything. Uh, input, output. Am I doing something wrong here? Oh, no recipe. Oh, okay. I, I figured it would just cook whatever's going in there. Um, start production every four seconds. Wait a minute, does it say powder? Ah, oh, fudge me. So we have to have the drill put the ore into a crusher, an auto crusher, in order to get iron powder in order to turn the to smelt the iron powder into ingots uh, when i was doing it in those forges i don't remember what they were called actually um what are they called those forge thingies yeah the, the manual smelters i could smelt regular ore i i didn't have to crush them up this reminds me of minecraft it actually reminds me of um the mods for minecraft where in the mods you have to crush them into powder although i think if you crush them into powder it it became more efficient you would get more you would get more ingots per per powder and in turn ore, but it's not like that in this game. It's the same. It's just an extra machine you have to put in, and and, and it's fine. It's fine. I um I do have some iron powder here. By the way, when the machines are full, they will not dig into the ore. Now they are digging into my coal supply. Uh, you know, so that kind of. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna turn this off because I don't need to be wasting coal. Oh, I don't know. Are, what? Hold on. Is it digging into the coal supply? If, if, if things are not being used, all right, so right now, the iron drill is not being used. The iron crusher is not being used. And I have another setup over here on the copper where the drill is not being used and the crusher is not being used. So all the all the stuff hooked up is not being used. So let's see if we're losing coal. Was that 86 before or 87? I don't remember. I just remember the water is at 86. They're both at 86. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave them on because I'm kind of curious if they're going to be used. 
Uh, it'd be nice if they wouldn't, because then I wouldn't have to turn them off. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right, I want to make some bombs. Let's make some... Oh, that's right. If I take the powder out, then it's going to start getting used. I won't get an accurate reading. Yeah, it is being used. Okay. All right, so turn your stuff off if, if like, nothing's happening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this. So stuff will be, will be used over there, and the same here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some bombs. I mean to make some bombs for a while. Um, so let's go ahead and make some bombs. Uh, you know what? Let's save the game. F let's save the game first because I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> I don't know if the bombs are going to destroy my own base or how big the explosions are or whatever. So let's just make one and see how it goes. Now, um, eat and interact. Uh, so I got to make one of these. I guess. And then... Is that it? Oh. Okay. All right. Wow, that's actually really good. And it doesn't destroy the ore. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to leave the ore there for now. Uh, okay, yeah, that's pretty good. You guys are right about the bombs. I can spec into, like, better bombs. Uh, let's see. No, no, I can't because I don't have my, my guide down right now. All right, we'll just deal with these bombs for now. They're plenty good enough for what I need to do. Okay, and... All right, that should work. Oh, they're all hooked up to each other. Good, I don't have to hook them up one at a time. I could just hook one up. Oh, that's... that's all right, this is cool. Whoa! Oh, wow, okay, look at that! Oh, man, this is freaking dope! Oh, I kind of wish I was doing this earlier. <laughs> I know. Here we go in the comment section. We told you, Cage! I know, I know. <laughs> I, I gotcha. All right, let's go ahead and take that one out. And then we're just going to kind of build over in this direction. This is great. I do want to see if it hurts my own blocks, though. Oh, I'm not going to be able to put this. Yeah, wait. Why can't I put the? Oh, hold on. Didn't mean to do that. Um, Hold on. Build. There we go. Okay, I need to get back up there. Ugh, I'm going to have to make some stairs or something, aren't I? All right, whatever. Let's just do this. Um, No, come on. Right there. The building's acting kind of weird right now. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, let's just get these out of the way. <laughs> yeah, that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and see if we could put down the smelter now. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to make building a lot easier for me, which is awesome because I'm going to need a lot of room. Like, for real. A little bit hard to build in this game, though, to line stuff up properly. It's the only thing I don't like about it, but that's okay. It is. It's good enough. Good enough. Put that in there. Now we need to just hook this up to the system. Uh, looks like I got a pipe right here and a pipe right there. I should probably change these pipes around a little bit, but you know what? Let's do this. Take that out. We're going to put in a splitter right here. And then we're going to run this to here. And then, hold on. You know what? Let's. I'm going to do this a different way. Let's see if we can make this work. Um, eventually, I'll probably have this stuff run under the ground, but, you know. So I'm thinking like that, and then like that, and then like that. Oh, much better. Much better. It's kind of a little bit of a hassle, but it's going to be better to when I can actually walk past this stuff. Ugh, it's not working here. Come on. Come on. Ah, damn it. All right. It's not exactly good looking, but that's all right. It'll get the job done. That's all that matters. Okay. Now we just have to set this up for... Yeah, yeah. Set up for iron. I'm <laughs> get a little confused here, but I, okay, hold on. Iron smelting. And there we go. Okay. And then I got to move this out of the way because I got to put a... Um, by the way, I noticed when if you tap the button, you can mine a lot quicker. If you hold down the button, you go like this. But if you tap the button, it goes quicker. See? Pretty much... 
done with all this mining, but by hand anyway, but okay. So what I want to do now is we are going to grab, oh, look at that. Freaking, oh man. That, that, all right. This is pretty cool. It may take a lot. It might take a lot of room, but man, it looks dope. Right, so we're going to take this thing and we're going to switch it around like this. And wait, no, like this. And then like so. And there we go. Now the crushers are a little slow. The crushers are freaking slow. Wait, why are they not? Oh, is this thing slow? Hmm. I wonder if we have... A oh, hold on. Okay. PSI, 20 PSI. No, that's perfect then. Pressure generated 100. Okay, no, we're good. All right, so this thing's the thing that's holding us back, the smelter. Takes four seconds per, per ingot. So this one takes um, two seconds per uh, iron powder. You need two iron powder, which is four seconds. It totally, it totally lines up with the four seconds of this thing. So that's the way they work. Uh, this thing outputs at one second. So that means every two seconds, we'll get two of these. And you need two of these to make one iron powder. And then, yeah, it's all lined up perfectly. This will put out enough iron powder, enough um, ingot, or sorry, enough ore to make the iron powder, to make the ore, and I think they're in perfect synchronization. Like I said, this puts out one one every second. This takes two seconds to, to um, oh, no, no, no. Then that means we need more drills. Because that means this takes, this takes, um, this takes two seconds to craft, but it needs two, it needs two ores. No, I think it's good. I think it's good. It's just going to take a while to build up, but that's okay. That's okay. I think I'm gonna try and get somewhat organized now. It's starting to look like a mess down here, but it's 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 uh <laughs> it's working. It's working out. Um, over here I have the coal, uh, being sent into this storage crate right here. Um, I'll probably put more like small storage in here, so if this gets full, I can I can offload things. Uh, but that will work pretty nicely, and that's looking good. Uh, the next thing I need to do is get this uh, smelter going. We're gonna blow some more stuff up. I did not want you guys to miss this. Because this is the fun part. I wonder if you could blow this up. I mean, I... Hmm. You should probably stay away from it. Let's save the game, too, just in case. Because it could do, like, a, a really, really large amount of damage to the node. Possibly. So, let's go ahead and do that. And that. And that. 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 I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. And hook those up. And kaboom. Kablao. Kablamo. All right. I'm pretty sure that was 99,950 before I blew everything up. So uh, that is just fan freaking tastic. I think if I had to restart the world, I would go for explosives a lot earlier than I did. Although you need steam power and a lot of things like that. So it might not be as easy as it sounds. But uh, what the heck is that? What is that? Is that? Hold on. Oh, it's ruby ore. Okay. Sounds good to me. I'll grab some ruby ore. Whoops. Yeah, you know what? That should be good enough anyway. Whoops. Damn it. Come on, Cage. Get your head in the game. There we go. Alright, so that's looking good. Alright, now we just need to put one of these bad mamma jammas down. And a storage container for it. Go ahead and hook it up. Uh, there we go. Whoops. Alright, cool. And that is going to be working on copper. And then we just need to feed it. How much how are we doing on this? So we have another 30 uh, PSI we can work with here. So that should be fine. I think what we're going to do... Um, let's, I don't really want to knock that one out. I guess I could. All right, let's knock this one out for now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put another splitter in here. And then we're going to hook this up to the splitter. Oh, like that. What? What am I missing here? It's too close. I guess it might be too close, but... Yeah, I guess it was. Okay. 
And then you go down there and hook up to there. I really like the way the pipes work in this game, guys. They're really, really good. And that should be the last one we need for this build. Alrighty. And that should... I mean... Yeah, we're, we should be at 90. Yeah, we're at 90 PS. Okay, so you could hook up... You can hook up enough stuff for iron, copper, and coal uh, in on one on one boiler and I bet you that's not by accident let's grab this before we forget I bet you there's gonna be deposits for that stuff somewhere all right now we just need to have an output for this and that should be pretty good and that might be a little close And that's not lined up per perfectly, but it's kind of hard to tell. Actually, it's pretty good. <laughs> and there we go for the copper. All right, guys. Um, next episode, um, you know, I, I, things could change. I could change my mind. But as of right now, I think next episode, I am going to be digging a floor down and making a proper base for myself. And this is going to be like the workshop, you know. And um, it's pretty... It's pretty crazy up here. But, hey, man, the machines are giant. You need, like, three of them for each thing. So... It is what it is, but we got a nice setup, and that's what really matters. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.